27 days left until we pick up Ella. What's the topic for today, Jing Lee Selleck? Well, how do you feel now? I feel like poop. Why? Uh, I think I'm just uh, anxious, uh, unsure. I think, you know, this being two years into the business and you were off talking to investors and, you know, we have a lot of things working, a lot of things not working. And I think it's just kind of at that time being two years into this when you need to reflect on, uh, you know, is there a business? And I think what's happened is that we got so focused within certain things within sales and marketing and then with limited full-time resources, with limited capital, with limited overall uh, resources, then you can lose track of product vision. The vision is for us to be a true platform where the technology, the platform is enabling the ecosystem of borrowers, lenders, advisors to work amongst themselves. And our job is to use the platform to grease the wheels, to make that ecosystem more enriching. As a manager, owner, CEO, you need to have a very clear vision, uh, a high definition destination of where a business is going. And, you know, I think that <clears throat> it's so easy for me to get just, I, I can I can handle the ups and downs emotionally. I already know that. I've been through three, four, five really big downs. Mm -hmm. I already know that I can do that. The bigger question is, is, is this carving in the right direction? And so stepping up, you know, I, might, I need to step up and get above the, the, the tree line and kind of see the direction that we're cutting through in the forest. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, so my intuition is telling me, like, look at these cases that we're doing for borrowers. Mm -hmm. uh, look at these cases uh, with, with lenders. Like, we're actually adding a ton of value. And they and have validated your points. They, they, they have continually do. It, right. It's every single week. But at the end of the day, you have to look at the scoreboard and say, mm -hmm. How much money's coming in? Mm -hmm. um, you said, okay, we the, the the question is, are we making money? Is money coming in? But I think again, maybe the question is not necessarily that. It's actually your your vision is to make is to match do the matchmaking between the lenders and borrowers, and eventually step totally step out of it and it seems like you get yourself deeper and deeper into it exactly right. we've we need to ramp up product development uh -huh. but you can't ramp up product development until you have a clear vision about where product development is going right you so can't have that vision unless you spend the time if you spend the time then you don't focus on sales and marketing right which goes into the bigger picture which is you know the need for capital I think I erred on the side of bootstrapping. I think what's what it's fundamentally come down to is you get two years into it and then ask yourself like, where is this going? And then when you lose track of vision, then you become reluctant. And when you become reluctant, then I'm also reluctant to ask one of our one of our angels mm -hmm. who said he will put money in today. Okay. Hey, I want to protect his money. He's invested a, a lot of his his time and money, and mm -hmm. also having uh, you know one of the guys who wants to come on the team and wants to quit his job now, but he's doing really, really well in his current job. And I guess if I'm reluctant because I don't have that high definition destination, then, you know, it's part of having that uh, uh, conviction. It, it seems like it goes around circle, right? If you don't, again, if you don't get the second round of fundraising in as quickly as possible, then you, you're just restricted. Yeah. It, it, it's to work on the business, not in the business. Exactly. And exactly. before I go pedal to the metal on fundraising and, um, you know, asking people to take a leap of faith to quit their job, put more money in, whatever that is, it, it comes down to this key takeaway from my call today with one of my advisors, which is the need to have a 
high definition destination about where this product is going, what the clear vision is. And after that is done, then you can, once that conviction is cemented, then it's back to the grindstone and just, just raise money or just get deals done, divide and conquer. But because okay. there has been that flag has been kind of flapping in the wind mm -hmm. and there hasn't been a, a strong direction, I have to go back to the product vision and I have okay. to say, are these pain points being met? Is it with product? And if that is, then that conviction is cemented mm -hmm. and focus on raising capital. I, do you think you are free enough? You're freed up enough to be able to step out for maybe a week and say... I think yes, and that also goes back to this being August, and just relatively speaking, deal, deals are slower during August. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay. Okay. As you can see, somebody is not really willing to talk about it. Oh, no, I've been talking. I've been talking for 14 minutes and 35 seconds. <laughs> I'm frustrated. Okay. I'm rarely this frustrated. I know. I can see that. It's good that we caught it on camera. <laughs> Another day in the startup life.